What's up guys, it's your boy Ty Skits here and today we're back with another Car X Drift Racing Online video. In today's Car X Drift Racing Online video, I'll be showing you guys my settings for my game and my controller. The reason I'm bringing you guys this video is because I've been getting a lot of messages of people saying, Ty, I need you to show me your FOV settings, your smoke settings, your controller settings. I just got back to the game after so long and I need some good settings so that being said enough talk let's get right into it so for my game settings my language is on english obviously because i'm american dynamic camera is on dynamic camera for the cockpit is on advanced shake camera at high revs is off i don't like that show ghost is off show many this is for single player so if you're a single player you do a track if you do the track again it'll show your ghost which i don't really care about having that on show mini map yes hide car driver off because i want to see the car driver hide steering wheel off because i want to see it Hide windows inside the cockpit Cockpit on, it's because uh, this makes it easier to see. So when you're in first person, like you can drive a lot better. Review mirror is off. I feel like it just makes the game lag and it doesn't really work that well. Chat off, people will be talking crazy in global chat, so I'll keep that off too. Speed unit, you can actually do kilometers per hour or miles per hour, I'm American, so I go by MPH. Pedal indicator is on. Drift score counter on. Show distance to the wall on. Turbocharger pressure sensor on. Inclimeter, this shows how much angle you are getting around corners. In race camera view button, right stick. This basically lets you move around your camera. Cross platform multiplayer on, synchronize, turning the lights off and on is on also. Um, so for my graphics, my screen resolution is 1920 by 1080. Full screen on, VR mode off, because I don't have a VR headset, I'm broke. Please don't have to uh, money symbol ties kids. <laughs> 97 money. <laughs> no, I'm just playing, I'm just playing. Um, vertical FOV at 75, vertical FOV for the cockpit, 87. Smoke on, density of smoke from nearby cars at 0.04. These are the best smoke settings, in my opinion. It's not gonna make the smoke super thick to where you can barely see while tandeming, but it also gives you that nice little faint touch of like tire smoke that you want to see while drifting. Density of smoke from own car is going to be at 0 0.06 because nine times in a chain, you're not going to see the own smoke of your own car. I mean, you will a little bit, but you don't want to turn it up too high because even that can be a little blinding and make your drifting a little, you know, yada, yada, yada. But vinyl texture compression is off. V-Sync is off. Quality uh, anti-aliasing is at low. Quality, don't touch this. Your quality is controlled by all these settings down here. So anti-aliasing low, texture quality high, Anisotropic filtering at low, draw distance at normal, skid mark, a hey, skids mark, uh, skid mark at low. <laughs> this will basically control how many tire marks or like skid marks are on the ground. Thank you, Karix, for using that uh, that terminology there. I love you guys. Volumetric fog off, shadows normal, ambient occlusion off, bloom low. Motion blur is off. Um, you can actually turn your bloom off if you want, but I like it low because it adds like a little bit of like a nice little like glowing effect to objects. Not like too intense, but it's a nice little look. You know what I'm saying? Uh, for my controller, I'm gonna show you guys my key binds for my controller, and then I'll show you guys my advanced settings. So, uh, all my settings are how you'd have really. All my settings are how you normally have your controller set up. My clutch is square, and I actually do use the clutch. Now all my settings are the same, you don't have to change anything, the only thing I changed was turning the lights on and off. Now if you have uh, your thing set up to where you start the car in ignition and starter, that's a little different. If you guys want to make a video on how to use the manual ignition and starter, I will, let me know down below in the comment section. But turn the lights on and off is at R3, so when I'm in a lobby, if I bump somebody back in, I can press R3 and flash my lights to let them know I'm sorry. If you guys don't know about that. Basically, we communicate in CarX through our headlights, you know, flash twice if you're about to do a 360, flash once if you're sorry for bumping somebody, yada, yada, yada. You know how that goes. So, um, next thing we have is the advanced settings. So, my gearbox type is manual. My clutch is automatic. Now, you guys are probably wondering, like, well, how does that work? How do you have a manual gearbox with an automatic clutch? Basically, if you run a manual gearbox with an automatic clutch, it kind of acts like a sequential shifter. So, unless you shift the gear with L1 or R1, uh, it'll just redline until you shift the gear, but you only have to press one button. Even though you're using, you guys are probably wondering why is he using a clutch then if he's using a manual gearbox type with an automatic clutch. The clutch is still very useful and you can still use it even if your thing is set to automatic. Um, like if you're going low revs in a drift or something like that, or let's say you need a little bit, a little bit of extra power, you can always use that clutch to clutch kick and get a little bit of power and you know, keep your wheel spin higher or whatever. Ignition type is uh, simplified because I don't really feel like dealing with 
holding the clutch and then the ignition and starter i ain't doing all that like i said if y'all want a video i'll do it for the video but i ain't doing all that uh controller screen is just controller we have a lot of different options keyboard and mouse controller steering wheel um so for the controller my prediction is set at 0 0.2 my stabilization is at 1.5 controller vibration is off steering assist is on steering linearity at 1.0 linearity of accelerator 0 0.9 braking linearity at 0 0.8 if you guys are wondering why i have my stuff set up like this if you push down the gas too hard in this game like it actually doesn't make you faster it makes you slower and plus i feel like having a lower a little bit of a lower linearity of accelerator uh helps you control your throttle a lot better and keep you smoother while you're like hitting tandems braking linearity i have that turned down too so when i break while doing tandems i don't break super hard and lose like a lot of speed if you guys don't like that you can feel free to turn up your linear of accelerator up i have found that having it down a little bit may make you just a tiny bit slower if you're not that good um but it is really useful though if you're trying to like especially learn how to play the game turning down your linearity of accelerator or acceleration can actually help actually help you like learn how to control the cars better if you're not able to give it like you know a shit ton of gas um so yeah those are my controller settings man i hope you guys enjoyed this video this has been your boy tyski ddc playing C R A X D R I F T R A S I N G. And I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. God bless. You guys stay safe. And I'll catch you guys in the next one. Also, one more thing before we head out. I need you guys to do me a big favor. Now, I do really appreciate you guys tuning in over on my YouTube channel. You guys are really loyal when it comes to the YouTube streams and whatnot. But I want to ask you guys a big favor. I'm going to plug it on stream right now. I need you guys all to do me a huge favor and go and follow my Twitch account, okay? I want to blow my Twitch account up. It's not easy. YouTube, it's going pretty good. You know, we just have to keep grinding and the numbers will rise. But Twitch, I need you guys' support, man. So I'm asking everybody that watches this video, if you guys can do me a favor, even if you don't want to watch my Twitch streams, go give me a follow. You might change your mind in the future. I don't know. But with that being said, man, y'all have a good one. Stay safe. Hope you guys enjoyed the controller in game settings video and uh yeah see you in the next one peace